Hello YouTube, Nonpon here, and I wanted to cover another logistics that I feel like people are very curious about, and also maybe a little hesitant to try out, and that's the Navigator Squad. Now, the reason why people are a little on the fence about getting this particular logistics right now is because, well, you have to spend underground purge currency to buy it. And as you can see, you could instead buy yourself a carbon atomic plate, but I bought it anyway. <laughs> so I uh, slightly bricked my account to just give you guys some more information, but I'll, I'll be fine. Maybe I'll regret it later. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but here's the navigator squad, right? So navigator squad over here. Scroll down some. So increases active skill damage by 24%. And after applying a control effect to the target, damage taken by the target increases by 14% for 10 seconds. Cool. Increased damage is always nice, but how does control effects work? Right? So, I'll give you a really good example, and the one that I use the most right now, and that's on 4 star Freesia. I like this on her a lot because she can also provide aptitude bullets at the same time. So, the reason why it works for Freesia, let me go over here to hard 5-1, usually I like to go here, is because her support skill here will knock up enemies, right? Uh, let me move myself over here a bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it says it will knock enemies up in the air, dealing thermal damage. That counts as a control effect. If you also look at the very top screen over here, it says control right here. So that's a good way to know if it's a control effect or not. Most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and give you an example right here. We'll start the start the level. And I'll show you guys. There's also like a symbol that will pop up to give you an indicator of it's working. So we're gonna this run over here. And get to these two mobs. We have and we are going to use Pyrfrios. Because they were knocked up in the air, you can see that they are burned and they have that debuff icon above them. Now, I know this guy right here can't be knocked up in the air, so he would not be debuffed. That's another thing you have to consider, is that some things doesn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work on enemies that, you know, have knockback resistance and stuff. So, it also means it's probably not going to be too good for bosses. Outside of one example. Outside of one example. So, there's one particular character that we got for free that can always inflict a control effect on the boss. And that is Akashia. Now, so far, let me go near on simulation here. I already got my points for the week anyway. Uh, we'll do we'll do Gavin. So Akashia will inflict a slow. Let's go over here. Do this. We'll apply her. Now she's so low level. So let's go ahead and put the navigator squad on her. I'll probably like cut ahead here a bit. All right, there we go. So, so far right now, we don't have any particular boss that is immune to slow. And Akashia is able to do that. that so, we have Gavin over here. He's going to attack us over here. We'll throw this uh, knife here. And because of that, he is slowed and he gets a debuff on top of that. So, that is a pretty good debuff from Akashia, right? It will work against bosses all the time. So you get yourself a free 12% more damage if you're free to play. That's probably gonna be really good if you're saving your gems for something else and you're still using Akashia. So that's nice. That's a that's a really strong option for her. Um, now something else I wanna mention is uh, Akashia Kayuga doesn't exactly do this, right? So this is, this is where it gets strange, right? So there is a difference between an enemy being slowed, like a status effect, and decreasing movement speed. I, I know I sound crazy, but let me explain. So, Akashia here, right? Her support skill, pull this up right here, is it will throw a small dagger and slowing the target for six seconds. I'm over here. Or, oh, I'm sorry, five seconds, right? So that counts as a debuff, basically. And you can also see that it is a control effect up here. Okay? So, Kayuga, though, this is a little bit different. Okay, you got. <laughs> I can't make this up. Okay, so let's say that we have her hover here, right? 
or hover will decrease movement speed by 10%. That does not count as a control effect. Up here, it says standard and damage. That is not a control effect, even though it's lowering movement speed. And by all definitions, I would assume that's a control effect it is not. That means that her standard skill will not um, get that decrease in defense or extra damage up, right? Same thing for her moon halo here. This is not a control effect, right? Well, I guess it isn't, period, because it doesn't even slow. Uh, her ultimate, also not a control effect. It's just damage. So that's something that can show off here. There we go. Okay, okay. So I can showcase this for you. And in theory, like it would be nice, right? Because she already lowers uh, resistance a lot, that the extra damage would be a big improvement. Unfortunately, that's not exactly how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and do the skill. And they are slowed. And ironically, they use the same exact debuff icon, except it has a three on it now, because it's stacking. So again, not a control effect. We'll go ahead and use her ultimate here, which sucks them up. But again, it's not a control effect. So for that reason, it will not lower, um, or they will not take extra damage. I keep wanting to say it lowers resistance, but that's not the case. It, they just don't take more damage, right? So as far as I know, uh, characters that have knockup abilities and good mobbing are really good for this, uh, especially if you want to use a shotgun, have a good support like uh, Fenny and then four star Freesia. That's a pretty good combo, right? Um, if you're looking for bosses and you are a hardcore free to play player and you're like, no, Nampon, I want some more damage. You put that Navigator squad on Akashia and she will increase your damage to that boss significantly, right? Although there are a couple other logistics you can use in her as well. Akashia four star is pretty good. You kind of can use a lot of different sets. But yeah, I just want to get this out of the way because I know people are on the fence about buying this early or not. I bought it early at the sacrifice of a carbon atomic plate, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'll get through it. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I think it's a personally, I think it's a really good logistics, but it's kind of particular on who you put it on. So just take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> anyway. I'll see you guys next time and take care.